Well, happy 4th of July, everybody. I just thought I'd end up the, with the, this video with uh, me barbecuing some chicken. <laughs> I can show you a little secret how my son taught me to do it. He's a pretty good barbecuer. He puts all of his, um, his briquettes down on one side and he browns it first. He seals the meat. Gives it a little sear. And uh, after it's done being seared, he moves it over here to this side and puts the lid on it and basically bakes it in here with the smoke and the, and the uh, briquettes. I've got mesquite briquettes in there right now. And um, this is what I use for uh, a little chimney for uh, lighting the briquettes. I don't like using all that, uh, that liquid stuff you put on there and light them on fire. That just uh, makes it taste funny, I think. But um, I made my own rub on there. It's a little bit of sugar, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, cayenne, a little bit of chili powder, lots of paprika, and uh, there may be a few other things on there I forgot to, to mention. But um, that's just something you can uh, do to taste, you know. So we'll get a little bit of, little bit of color on them like this. Not this one. Uh, we'll create places. And once I get a little color on them, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move them over to the other side. I used to cook them over the coals the whole time before, but uh, this is a lot better way to do it. Cook them to 165. I've got a little digital thermometer I can poke in them here when I'm finished. And uh, once it hits 165, I take them off immediately. I don't want to get them overdone. Yeah, they're almost ready to put on the other side. Okay, I've got them uh, rolled over and pulled off the coals a little. See, the, the coals are on this side. I've got these set back. So now I'm going to put the lid on it. There we go. Set set the uh, the vent. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put this on a timer for about uh, about 12 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and check on it. The secret is don't keep taking the lid off. You know, let the, let it cook in there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and set my timer. I'll be back with you after 12. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and make some barbecue sauce for the uh, for the chicken out there. It's going to be like a vinegar-based barbecue sauce. And just my own concoction. There's not really any measurements. I'm going to use some um, apple cider vinegar first. And maybe a little more. Okay. Throw in some minced garlic. Some uh, some hot sauce, chili garlic. Give it a little kick. So uh, just some bullseye or any other type of barbecue sauce. Put some of that in there. Sorry, I keep wandering off there. And uh, a little bit of organic apple juice. Okay, so now we need the sweet. So I'm going to put some uh, 
brown sugar in here. It's like a round tablespoon, teaspoon I mean. All right, pepper, a pinch of salt, and uh, that's what I'm going to coat the chicken with right there. I always taste it, make sure I got it where I want it. It's real good. I'm just going to put a little bit more of this in it. Make it a little redder. That's actually real good. It's got a nice tang to it. It's sweet. And it's going to go wonderful on that mesquite barbecued chicken. Okay. I'll see you back out at the barbecue. Okay guys, it's been about 14 minutes because I got sidetracked up there. I'm going to go ahead and roll these over now. They're looking good. There we go, everything's looking great there. We're going to go ahead. Temperature looks good. We're going to leave that just where it was at. And uh, I'm going to give it another uh, 12 minutes or so, then I'll check it. Um, so, I had about 14 minutes on it because I got sidetracked up there. And, um, I'm going to add another 12 and uh, we'll see how it goes. Rubes has got my chair. That's one I usually sit in if I'm on a barbecue. Hey, he must have heard me. Buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Rubes? Hi there, kitty. Hi there, kitty. He doesn't like all those uh, explosions and stuff going on. There's been some really loud ones. Sounds like people using dynamite or something. Hi, huh, Rubes. We sure have a beautiful 4th of July today, though. It's warm here. We're on the coast and it feels like it's it feels like it's 65 degrees at least. And uh, we always have that little bit of a heat index because of the humidity here, you know, being near the ocean. And uh and he's gonna scratch on the <laughs> uh, So uh yeah we'll give this chicken a few more minutes and we'll double check it. Okay guys, I got my probe in the meat, see? Right in the thickest part. And I'm gonna go over here and look at the, uh, this is my Chogod. It says it's 160 degrees there. And 165 is fully done. So I'm gonna back these off the heat just a little bit here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start um, uh, putting the sauce on it. Let me, sorry I'm waving you around. Hard to do this with uh, one hand. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I'll be right back. Okay. Now I haven't rolled them over because I want to get this side sauced first. Then I'm going to roll them over breast side up. And this sm sauce smells good. I like cooking the sauce on. I just want this kind of glaze up a little bit. I don't want it to burn, so I'm not going to put it anywhere near the coals. All right. 
So next, I'm gonna roll these over. And they are looking pretty. They are looking really nice. Okay, now I'm gonna sauce this side. You know, I need three hands here. I'm trying to film, watch what I'm doing, and sauce these things all at the same time and hold the camera. I love to cook, you can probably tell by looking at me. But I've been uh, putting on a little bit of weight lately, so, and I've been trying to be good. I haven't eaten any sugar, ex except for you notice I put some sugar in this sauce. But um, you know, no sugar in my coffee, no sugar cereals, no cereals at all for that matter. I've been eating mostly uh, vegetables and uh, and drinks and but I keep going off the wagon when the weekends come and doing stuff like this and I got to get real serious about it I got my sister to get serious about it and then I'm falling down on the job here because I'm just not doing the right thing but um, I will go in and eat a nice big baby green salad before I eat these and I'll probably just eat that guy right there And I gotta start being really good again. And the weather's been nice, so I have no excuse for not riding my bike. I need to get back on my bike. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and give these uh, maybe about five minutes underneath the, the lid, and uh, I'm gonna pull them off and it'll be time to eat. Okay, I've taken them off the grill, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, taste one of these. Looks like it's thoroughly done. It looks moist. Looks delicious. Well, it's got a nice tang to it. A little bit of bite. Slight sweetness. Very good. This is going to be a people pleaser. I'm going to take it inside and feed everybody. Thanks for coming along.